Rappler officials and company CEO Maria Ressa have been charged with violation of the anti-dummy law. Ressa and several members of the board of directors are also facing complaints for violation of the Securities Regulation Code. This is in relation to online media platforms' issuance of Philippine depository receipts to foreign-owned Omidyar Network. All of the accused except Ressa, who is out of the country, have posted bail at 90,000 pesos each. In San Juan, more than 11 million pesos in damages were recorded after a fire gutted a furniture factory in Barangay Cabayanan yesterday. Firefighters struggled for three hours to put out the flames. One volunteer was injured, but no other structures were affected though, thanks to the high walls surrounding the factory. Authorities are still investigating what caused the incident. Good news for commuters, you won't have to rely much on your smartphone for entertainment while riding the LRT or MRT. Two monitors have been officially launched in lines 1 and 2 of the LRT and in line 3 of the MRT. It will feature one-minute shows catered to 18 to 25-year-olds. It has also GPS-triggered alerts to show when the train is arriving at a station. The project costs 350 million pesos, but the government did not shell out a single centavo due to the public-private partnership agreement where the private company will earn from advertising. The monitors will also give a heads up for commuters if there are problems in the other stations. If there is a problem in Carriero station and LRMC will alert FAR and FAR will upload the information saying problem at Carriero station. Or if there is a weather problem, flooding for example, the passengers will all know about it in real time.